Hey everybody, this is the character Jose in um, Moho, and I had a question about his construction, and I just wanted to share what Victor uh, explained about that. So I zoomed into Jose and, and selected his uh, arm right uh, to look at the construction here, and the thing that I didn't understand was that there's a line here in the middle, and I was curious as to why is there a line there? Since there are only six points, um, I didn't understand why you might want that. Well, Victor explained that he likes to do that to avoid overlapping issues. And so um, I thought I'd uh, give a demonstration about what that is, because I didn't understand it at first. OK, so here we just have a bone layer and then an arms layer. And we're starting out with uh, two sets of bones. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, and I'm not going to do the fill here to start with. I'm just going to draw a rectangle up top. And then I'm going to add points about where the elbow might be. Then I'm going to select all of those points, copy that, and then uh, move that copy down to the other arm. Now on this bottom arm, I'm going to connect the middle points. I'm going to go ahead and change the fill color to a little red, kind of like Jose is, or orangey red. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, the top um, rectangle and create a shape out of it. And now I'm for the bottom one, I'm going to make two shapes. First, I'll select uh, one of the rectangles, create that shape, and then select the other one, oops, and create that shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the stroke in between them. So I've zoomed in the bottom, and you see that there is no stroke there. But if I select um, the point tool, we can see that there is a line still there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to see what happens when I actually manipulate the bones. So I'm going to a, a, a frame 24 there, and I'm just going to try to manipulate this bone over here. And notice that we get this empty space here when I move the bone too much. And I'm going to do that on the bottom one as well. And notice on the bottom one, because we have that extra line, um, we don't get that empty space. Now, where might I use this? Or where might this happen? Well, suppose that I put a smart bone action in there, and on the arms, or I don't even have to have a smart bone action, but um, if I go into the arms and I move this point up, and let's make its curvature zero, um, even though I have it so it looks like an arm bend, we get this overlapping point. And again, if I move that bone a little bit more, we'll see it even more dramatically. Same thing if I do for the other arm here. If I select that point, make its curvature zero, we notice that we can bend that arm and so you have more of that arm bend uh, without this gap here. So that's the reason that they put the the um, line between the character uh, between uh, between those points. That's the reason that he did that, and um, he does it. It's not just with the arm shape; it's with any number of different shapes as well. And the point is, uh, I guess, when you have a space that might overlap itself, um, that's what you do. So, just thought I'd share that. Uh, it's a very interesting thing that I learned, and I uh, thought it might help other people as well. Have fun.